This is the journey to One Africa. Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Snoa, and this is Mika. Let's get right into it. So yesterday, I've actually came up with the news. Uh, what is going on in Burkina Faso? Uh, more than at least 15 people that were killed in the mass in the church in Burkina Faso. And it seems to be on a terrorist attack. These people are just there during the mass. They're worshiping God, worshiping the Lord. And they were killed right there in the church. And today we're working out. We see another news, not in the church right now, but in the mosque. More than a dozen people have been killed. And, and let me read this news for you a little bit. It said, dozen dead after mosque attack in the southern book in Faso, sources say. Several dozen mis Muslims were killed in attack on the mosque in Natiboani by armed individuals. Military detachment in the east and north of Burkina Faso were attacked, resulting in several hundred terrorism neutralized. A Catholic church attack in northern Burkina Faso resulted in 15 civilians killed during Sunday Mass. So in the northern part of Burkina Faso, two days ago, 15 civilians were killed during the Mass. And today, actually 18 hours ago, dozen dead after the mask attack in southern Burkina Faso, so it says. Okay, so the attack at the Catholic church in the village uh, of Esakan in northern Burkina Faso targeted civilians during Sunday mass, resulting in at least 15 civilians killed and two other injured. So I think what I'm seeing here, guys, um, you know, when people were killed, uh, in the northern part of Burkina Faso, in the church two days ago, my heart was in so much pain because I felt like, um, you know, you know why this is happening. One of the most safest place in the house of God, people that went there to worship and to pray for their families, to pray for the country being killed, being attacked. My heart was really heavy that day. And I'm working today, I'm working up today, and we see this news, dozen days. So basically, this, these are 12 people killed again in the mask in southern Burkina Faso. What does this tell you? What does this tell you if people are being killed in the church, if people are being killed in the mask, the place that we often see as a safest place for us to be? It tells you that no place is safe in Burkina Faso. And it tells you that they want everybody to be scared. They want everybody to know that they are coming after them. These killings of our people. Until when, guys, are we going to wake up and see this news? Until when are we going to see our people killed again and again? Until when, man? The leaders of Burkina Faso, I've said this a lot of times, this guy is trying to do good by his people. But we, the people, are constantly want to take each other down. This situation, man, of our people being killed over and over and again in the continent, it has to end. It has to stop. Those killers, they must realize that you're actually killing your brothers, your sisters. And I don't know, man. It, it, it kind of seems like killing in Africa is justified right now. Killing in Africa is justified. If you want to send the message to people who you don't love, you just kill them. And these are innocent civilians. People are going to worship. People are going to pray and they're being killed on the spot. What do you want them to do? People are being killed on the street. People are being killed in the school. People are being killed in the church, in the mosque. People are being killed on the road. People are being killed in their home. Where is safe? Where are they going to be safe, man? Where are they going to be safe? Where are these people are going to be safe if they're being killed everywhere? And why these things are happening right now? Why these things are constantly 
keep happening again and again. I told you the other day that um I don't know why for some reason if you go to any country in Africa and if things are working out there you'll find this issue. If you have a good leader in Africa who is working for their people you'll find these issues. You find either people are being killed, people are being attacked, terrorism attack and this is what has been happening in Burkina Faso. And if you if you read this news if you find out you're going to hear that our oh, jihadists they have attacked them but you never get to know you never get to see where are these guys receiving their weapon from where are these guys are receiving their support from yes they are to blame because you cannot kill your neighbor you cannot kill your brother you cannot kill your sister but also what kind of weapon are they using to kill their people and you know me guys are always end up saying this that man the the only thing that is going to put us together is unity the only thing that is going to keep us together is unity you have echoes in the western part of africa that they actually sanctioned them a lot with the sanction but now they have removed the sanction from Burkina Faso Mali and Niger but the problem is still there the problem is still there because our people are being killed so what is the strategy what is the plan of african union what is the plan of echoes what is the plan to stop these killings from happening again and again and again in the northern part of Burkina Faso and southern part of Burkina Faso? That means when while people are killed up there, other people are being killed down there. And this is very strategic. You can say that this is not strategic to attack church and mosque. What does that tell you? That you cannot be safe even in the church. You cannot be safe even in the mosque and you should not go there because you're going to end up killed. I don't know about you guys but when I look at the timeline of our YouTube I'm tired man because um I'm tired because I see the videos we share we share I see what I talk about and it just hurt my heart you know somebody in our team you know she told me another day that you know usually when we want to write something all right I would drop something and then I'll share with my team to go through it and um they'll send back to me. But most of the things that we draft them they um they're negative. It's about the issues that have happened in Africa. For instance, the open letter that we wrote to Rwanda and Congo, guys, please share retweet that uh, that letter, share, tag them because we want them to see this letter. But when you read that letter, it's about the pain that Africans are going through. It's about the pain that we as a people are going through. A lot of things that I dropped and I write, it's about the pain of killing of our people. You know? So one of the team members, she told me that Mika, I don't want to do this anymore. And honestly, I take it very positive because he said, I don't want to be depressed. I look at this, I've been reading this for the for all this time and I've been seeing this all this time and I just I'm just in so much pain every time I go through this. And to be honest, and I I I don't know the state of my heart. I think you know when God gives you a mission, he actually prepares your heart and everything for you to be able to run that mission. Um but I understand her. That majority of Africans are tired because of these things that are happening in the continent. We as Africa we are failing again and again and again to bring about peace in the continent. I said this the other day that the failure and success of this continent it is because of the leadership. Everything that you see happening every single day in this continent it is because of the failure or the success of the leadership. And in the case of Burkina Faso you can see actually these leadership are trying to do the best they can. Cuz things that used to happen before the government how it used to be before it's not the same today. But I think in order for us to break out from all these attacks that are happening in our countries we cannot actually fight alone. We cannot fight alone. We need the entire continent to hold hands together and to say now is the time for us you're going to silent gun and let's do it. African Union they had that plan in 2020 but until today they have not yet silenced the guns. And we have the vision 2063. What we can do it today.
So if African Union decide today that we need to silence the gun and this is the time to do it, let's go every single area that there's a guns. Let's go every single area that's the conflict and there's attacks to our people, to the innocent civilians, Africans. Let's go there and silence it. I believe it is possible to silence gun in Africa. There's some troops that can go to the western part of Africa, eastern part of Africa, northern and south. We can do that and silence the gun in this continent so that our people can live in peace, man. If our people cannot be safe in their own homes, in the most secured place, places, what do we expect? So I cry for Burkina Faso because I see things are happening well. I see things are going well. And I see how this country is being traumatized. And for a second, don't think that someone else is not involved in this. We know who saw mud at the western side of Africa. We know it. But you know what? I don't even want to talk about them because I feel like I give them too much of airtime. But I want to talk about our people and us. That I'll say this again. That the only solution to Africa's problems are un is unity. And we need to realize that soon than ever soon right now as soon as possible to protect our people the dozen of our people that are being killed so now you know that christians are being attacked muslims are being attacked everybody's been attacked who is going to be safe if you're muslim and perhaps you know you don't care you don't you hate christians when they were being attacked today muslims are being attacked that is to tell you that <laughs> our religion does not really matter. What matters is our Africanness, our oneness. And us as a people, we need to hold our hands together without thinking about our religion, without thinking about our tribes, but stand with one another and protect the lives of our people because that is what matters. So please, guys, please, please. As you're watching this video today, the conviction that I have for one and united Africa is what I wish for you to have because the strategy of divide and rule is still alive and well today and we will be able to get away from that by only coming together and fight this bastard so let's come together Africa and fight them with everything we got that's the only way for us to stand I wish well for Burkina Faso I wish well for the west part of Africa and my condolences to all the family that have lost innocent civilians for crying with you. We might not feel the pain the same way you feel, but we're here for you and with you. And we demand a united Africa and one Africa to African Union because that's what we believe. It's going to be the solution to this continent. Hey guys, as you're watching this video, our vision is to reach 500,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button and join membership to support our channel and join Patreon and PayPal. All the links are in the description. Do that to stand with us for this beautiful cause of One Africa right now we do. Do not forget to sign up for the petition. The link is down below. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.